Hello, everybody. I've pre-introduced myself with a question to the previous group. And I think it's important when you're speaking to know your audience. And I, the people that have been up here on the stage is our audience as a management school. And since I've given up a minute to them, so I'm going to take seven minutes to go through this quickly, which is going to be tough because I'm a professor of marketing, and I'm used to speaking for three hours at a stretch. So saying it in six minutes is going to be one of the biggest challenges of my career, but I'm going to do my best. One way I'll do this is I'll answer the question from the first slide. I feel no, it's not our job as management education to create leaders. Surprise. This conference has been about leadership and training and development. I, we're in a management program. We teach MBAs. We teach masters in management. And there's been a confusion over the years of what are we actually teaching? What are we creating and why are we creating it? Is it our job to create leaders? We've seen the people talking in the previous uh, conferences about what they're looking for, and they're emphasizing training, development. They're tra emphasizing what their business's goals, needs are, and finding out how to empower their employees to meet those goals. That may be by leadership, but they need also people that have relevant technical knowledge. Even better, employees that have relevant technical knowledge that actually can apply that in a variety of situations. Here's another surprise that hopefully we are all not surprised by. The leadership industry, which I'm a part of, is failing. This is a statistic from 2012, where we see over a 20-year period, spending on leadership training is going up, 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 whereas confidence in leadership is going down, down, down. One of the things in consulting we find when we start a project is setting our customers' expectations. Our customers are expecting management schools to create leaders, and they continue to be disappointed. And this is an old stat, but Harvard Business Review, when I was passing through the airport yesterday, the head article is about leadership training. And the article starts with a statistic that says, in last year, only 24% of companies' executives are satisfied with their leadership training programs. That is a failure in this industry. So where is the failure? Well, the failure is also, as us as management schools, by agreeing for so many years to go along with this idea that we will just create leaders for you. And then industry continue to be disappointed because we're not creating leaders. So what is our job? I view management education just like any other industry. So I'm in the same industry as Virgin Media or SAP or McKinsey. We have clients, and we need to produce a product for our clients. We have raw material, which that didn't come across well. It looked better on my computer when I did this. Your raw materials are our students. We're sourcing students. We have two product lines. We have students that are coming that have never worked before or earlier in their career. They want to switch career. They've come to us to mold them into something that the industry wants to hire. That's our first product line. Our second product line are people that are already employees, people that are working for the people that are up here on stage. They send them as raw materials to us to hopefully add value to them so in the end they have something worth purchasing from us as a higher education institution. And just like in any industry, the customer has a choice of creating it in-house or going external. And so in fact, what is interesting about this conference where corporate and higher education leaders meet, in some ways we're competing with each other. I'm begging as a higher education institution, don't do your training in-house, use me. And just like the answer I had to the question here earlier, they're saying, why should we use you? We know our context. We know what our goals are for our business. So that is our job as a business school, as a management school, to tell our customers in the end, why use us? What can we offer? In the remaining three minutes, I'll say three things that we can offer. One thing that we offer as a management school that I still think you can't find with your in-house training programs is context. I love this picture. I use it when I talk to students about leadership. That is arguably, at the time the photo was taken, the best car in the world. A multi-million dollar car, all the best car technology in the world goes into that Ferrari Formula One, which is completely useless on that city street in Rome. You don't need the top graduate from Harvard Business School in every business function. In many cases, you don't want the top graduate of Harvard Business School. You want people that can be adaptable and perfect in that right situation, whatever your situation is. So it's not my job as a business school 
to continually produce Formula One Ferraris. It's my job as a business school to help create employees that know what is the context of your business, that can adapt and be correct at the right time. We help with context. A second thing we can contribute is a different perspective. One of the drawbacks of in-house uh, training programs is that they're going to see your perspective. They're not going to necessarily see different points of view. And that's one thing we try to contribute as a management education institution, is we have people in one room from 24 different nationalities, from 20 different industries, from different countries and perspectives and goals. We have people in the classroom that want to be social entrepreneurs. We have people in the classroom that want to go on Wall Street and get rich. God bless them. We have people that have been rich already, that want to go start a foundation in Namibia to help feed children. This blending of information gives a perspective that you often miss if they're only in class with people from your own industry. There's a role for us, but we don't want to be in competition with our corporate leaders. We want to add a different nuance. We want to add a different perspective and a different context. And so the third thing that we offer to you, 46 seconds, we can do it, is we want to offer an ear. That's what I think has been missing so much in the management school industry. We have our arrogance and we say, we're going to create great people, and then of course you're going to hire them. But what we need to do is have more conferences like this, where we sit down and say, we're offering a service to you. We want to provide students to you. We want to take your employees and make them better. I'm not just going to give you leaders. I want you as industry to tell me what you need. Do you need us to train them differently? Do you need micro training? Do you need online training? This week, you may want us to teach the context of artificial intelligence and marketing and business. Next week, you may want us to teach you how finance has changed in the industries. That's our role, and we're happy to have this conference and to be here and talk with you. So find us. We want to listen. Thank you.